In the 1970s, America's team was the Dallas Cowboys. They projected an aura of invincibility. They encouraged a mystique of superiority. And they did it with style. This was a team of sparkle and flash. Concerned with image and appearance as well as performance. Yet they were also coldly clinical, as embodied in the familiar persona of head coach Tom Landry. It was only fitting that the Cowboys' final regular season game of the decade matched them against their arch rivals, the Washington Redskins. Grit versus glitter for the NFC East Championship. That game in 79 was for the division championship, and there was an awful lot at stake. And we really felt like we were a football team that, that could be beginning to become something very special. Not only was this game for the NFC East uh, championship, but it also was the home field advantage into the playoffs. And history will show that invariably the team with the home field advantage ends up in the Super Bowl. At Texas Stadium, the Redskins surprisingly charged ahead with an offensive barrage that produced 17 points in little more than a quarter. It was swift and stunning, yet somehow it did not inspire confidence, only doubt. Those of us that have been around long enough knew whenever you're playing a Roger Staubach and the Dallas Cowboys, no lead is enough, and especially with that much time left. The comeback magic of Roger Staubach had shattered the spirit of many an opponent. On this day against the Redskins, Staubach boldly went where he had gone so many times before. Three unanswered touchdowns pulled Dallas into the lead midway through the third quarter. You know, it was funny. It was almost like it was expected. You're just not going to blow the Cowboys out. We knew they'd score once or twice, but the one that hurt us was, I think, the one before the half. They had a third down, an extremely long yardage. You know, they get three out of it, maybe. And then he hits Preston with that fingertip catch. First, Washington had dominated. Then the Cowboys took command. Two rivals banging heads. The game at that point developed into the type of football game that has been the trademark of the Redskin-Cowboy rivalries, and it wasn't something that was unfamiliar to any of us. This seesaw struggle would be decided in a fourth quarter as fast and furious as any in recent NFL history. The Redskins drew first blood, vaulting back on top. Then, with less than five minutes to play, one final big play by the Redskins seemingly put the game out of reach. We ran a quick inside trap play. John Riggins broke outside and outran the entire defensive secondary of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, he outran them all. Riggins coming to the right side, and Riggins has a big hole, first down, down the sideline, 40, 30, he's gone to the 20, the 10, he's still on his feet, touchdown! A 66-yard run by Riggins, exploding away to the outside, and that may be more than the Cowboys can overcome. I remember very specifically a lot of players on our teams congratulating each other, talking about the Super Bowl, talking as though we had the game wrapped up. And that probably was an indication that uh, we felt as though the, the game was over and that uh, I think from that point on we may have let up a little. When you only have a 13-point lead, it's just scary. It just scares the living daylights, Eddie, because you know they can do it with two touchdowns. Those numbers loom in football like giant rain clouds over a parade. And Theismann knew all too well the power of Roger Staubach to snatch victory. I think his ability to, to pull a team out in, in the final stages of a football game is, is really unique in our business. From that standpoint, he was something special. Staubach's time-tested specialty was bringing the Cowboys from behind to the fourth quarter. 22 times in his remarkable career, he had overcome defeat in the final minutes. This would be his biggest hurdle, his greatest challenge. Clock is running, 2.38 left in the game. Can it happen again? Can they come back again? Shotgun formation, Staubach looking into the face of a four-man rush, throwing, caught, spring, go. Touchdown, Touchdown Rod Spring. 2.20 left in the game. Can 
Didn't they do it again? You gotta believe, Brad. Woo! They just move the ball so fast, and it was it was so frustrating. Any move we tried to make, Staubach would counter, and Landry would counter, and they'd meet it, and they'd come up with something else, and it was it was just an extremely frustrating day to be playing defense. I wanted the clock to move so much faster than it was, but uh, you know they they did everything perfectly in that last half. Yeah, Dallas needed another touchdown to win. Less than two minutes remained, and the Redskins had the ball. Clearly, Washington still had the upper hand. The Redskins had us third and one. They gave the ball to the Reagans on, a, on an outside play. To make the first down, the game's over with. And Larry Cole, who wasn't the fastest guy on our football team, was playing inside, and he was able to catch him going around the end, which wasn't very easy, because Reagans, he was a younger in those days, and he was fast. And the fact he caught him and gave us a chance to get the ball back was a thing that won the ball game for us. It was a great, great play on his part. Staubach would get that final chance to work his mastery. When he got the ball back that last time, I said to myself, please, if you're up there listening, you know, pay attention to me because we're gonna, it's gonna take more than a miracle. He was hot. I mean, the man was just hot. Everything he threw up, everybody was catching. His leadership brought them back time and time again. It was his last year as a player, but he was running around like a young kid. It was probably one of his finest performances. A minute one left in the game. This is an all-timer. Cowboys at the Redskin 33. Second down 10. Trailing by six points. From the shotgun. Staubach has time. Throws. Caught. I mean, you've got to love the Cowboys. They're the most exciting team in the NFL. They can pull it out. 42 seconds left in the game. Redskins lead by six. How do you, how do you live like this? How can you live like this doing this every oh, week? This is what it's all about. This is a killer. Second down and eight. From the eight-yard line. No shotgun this time. Staubach throwing in the end zone. Tony Hill! Just another day at the office, Brad. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> we had a blitz called in that situation. They read it again perfectly, read the coverage, and went right to the receiver who had one-on-one -on -one coverage. I could see when our corners came up to press him that that's what he wanted to do. I knew it because I would have if I was in his shoes. I'd have taken the shot. It's a, you no know, timeouts. You throw it up. It's an incomplete. The clock stops. Hey, way to go. And as soon as the ball went up, I kept thinking, oh, no, overthrow it. And then Tony started to get closer. Then I went, oh, no, drop it. And then he caught it, and I went, oh, no. <laughs> that was, you know, that was the oh, no. This miraculous victory was the culmination of the extraordinary NFL career of Roger Staubach. His refusal to accept defeat and his will to surmount all obstacles was this man's football legacy. That was probably Roger Staubach's greatest game, and he played many great games for us. You know, looking back on this one, I, I think history certainly would prove that it was one of the best games ever played.